Six years in the making, it has finally returned, this time around with a more deeper and darker past, a more serious story. Ladies and gentlemen, Frozen 2. Frozen 2's back, all you little kids can enjoy and rejoice in the return of the biggest damn movie to ever hit the scene and I don't know how long. Fro Frozen 1 made so much money, it was absolutely ridiculous. Now I'm not a huge fan of Frozen, while I did appreciate the first film, it's not one of my favorite Disney films of all time, uh, but when I did watch it at the time, I, I did enjoy it. It had a lot of charm. Th this movie was charmful and it was that traditional Disney magical style of film. The story was actually a deep and darkened story. It had much more of a serious tone, which is a little unorthodox for something of this nature, of, of, of how Frozen is such a, a magical, a princess type of film. It definitely surprised me on that point. Of course, the main cast of Anna, Elsa, Olaf, and Kristoff, they're all back. Uh, they all did solid jobs as well. It, the story really did revolve around them. It was their story. Um, as, as the last one, it really just focused between the, the team of uh, the whole group. The story of the elementals. This time they focused around not just specifically ice, but they had everything in it, straight avatar style with fire, water, earth, wind. It's a pretty neutral ground for me. Like I said, um, I, I wasn't in love with the first one at all. Uh, well, I thought it was a, it was a solid film. I wasn't uh, in love with it whatsoever. I felt the same with this one. I felt like this still delivered on some parts. I did find it a, a story-wise a little bit more fascinating just due to having more of that deeper, darker past, not only with Anna and Elsa's uh, parents' history, but with also her, her magic and her abilities. Olaf, Olaf did actually have some great parts. Olaf surprised me. He he was funny. He had some very witty things that he was doing. He was, the, of course, the comic relief of the first film. He actually did bring some good funny material in this one as well. Anna and Elsa have a little bit of conflict as well throughout the film. Uh, one wants to go and pursue their path to finding the elementals while the other wants to stick together. And they do, they do end up breaking apart. And within that time, you start to see a little bit of conflict between the two characters. Elsa, I just want you to be safe. Anna, there's things that I have to do that you can't come with me. You don't have any powers. I don't care if I don't have any powers. I saved your ass last time. I don't want anything to happen to you. I can't afford you getting hurt. So I'm gonna make this ice boat and send you 80 miles down this mountainside to your possible doom. And that's pretty much how it happened. <laughs> now the question I know all you guys wanna know, did they have a successor song to Let It Go? Let It Go, the banger song everybody knows about. It's been sung a million times by these damn kids everywhere and everybody's loved it. They actually had a really great song. They had about five songs in this film. I thought all of them were, were okay um, until the, actually one of the last ones towards the uh, final act of the film uh, with Elsa. She actually brings the heat on uh, one of the final songs. And you guys know if you have seen the film what I'm talking about where she's delving deeper and deeper into the ice uh, where she actually becomes frozen later on and, and Anna has to help her. But that that song was absolutely, uh, in my opinion, it was the best song out of the bunch. And if I had to have a contender to let it go, that that would be the one. This one's really a tough one because if, you, if you're not really too interested in the Frozen series, you don't really know too much about it, then this could be a tough sell for you. Um, for me, I personally thought the first one was okay, went into this one, and I thought it was okay as well too. It didn't amaze me. Um, it's not going to be in my top five of the year for films. Uh, so to you, uh, it might be a watch. Um, what I recommend it, it's really a hard sell for, for people that either didn't enjoy the first one or they saw the first one and, and they just thought it was, a, it was an okay. Obviously, if you love Frozen, if the first one was the banger hit, you loved it, check this one out just because the story 
and the part two is is a lot better than the first one in my opinion uh it delves deep into anna and elsa's uh heritage their parents um more of a different side of her why elsa has these ice powers they do delve in in the story is a lot more serious and a lot better and i i did enjoy that now passing it to you guys let me know down in the comments below one are you going to check out frozen 2 or two if you did check it out let me know what was your favorite song or favorite part in the film new videos every single day reviews reactions all kinds of different stuff we're all joining up to get to our first milestone of 1k subscribers so i would love it if you would join us for the journey more videos here subscribe down here and i'll see you in the next video be easy